Tinta. I'm from Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire in French. Uh, I came to the UK because uh, my father was targeted by the government at the time. And I protested against that. And I thought, you can't just kill somebody for no reason. And uh, it was becoming very hostile. And uh, I had to flee the country. I would have been dead if I had not fled. And that's the reason why I'm sitting here today in the United Kingdom. So three years ago, uh, I walked down the high street of Blackburn and I found Moshin, uh, who was freezing cold and homeless. Uh, the immigration process can be very, very difficult, very extreme, very complex and uh, it can really drive him out. I then realised that I had to find a place for him um, and I start to ring around to all the destitute refugee projects but none of them were in our catchment area and there was no way I could signpost him to. I wouldn't call myself brave, I think I was just lucky and without the churches I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. They probably kept me alive. <laughs> Karis is a new project for asylum seekers started here in Blackburn and Darwin by three churches, the United Reform, the Methodist Church and the New Frontier, which is independent. I absolutely love being on this Kairos team. It's different churches working together. And on paper, doesn't really work. If we talked about theology, we might fall out of it, but when it comes together, it just works. I'd like to show you this award uh, that I got from the council for my contribution uh, to the borough, uh, Blackburn Town Borough Council, and I was awarded uh, as the man of the year. I always ask myself, why do the churches have to do this? I mean, this is one of the richest countries on the planet. And I thought, well, the government and the system should have been doing this, but they're putting so much burden on the church. Ecumenical partnerships are the DNA of the URC. Working on an ecumenical team on justice is just fantastic. When we focus on justice, the kingdom happens. At some point, I even asked a Methodist minister, I asked him, do you people get any kind of like, you know, support from the government financially? I said, well, no, not really. And I thought, but that's not fair. This is the United Kingdom. They're supposed to be like helping you guys for doing all the, the job because you're picking up all the pieces. But they said, well, you know, that's the government. We're just going to do what we do best, look after people. Okay.